that is a road on top down we see the slope <coughs> Twenty first of October two thousand twenty three. This is the new salt area of village Aben, and this is under the Nabad Tribal Development Fund project. We have incorporated salt into the TDF model. So one can see these are all individual farmers who have done zoom, and uh, simultaneously they have also implemented salt. So seasonal crops are jhum crops, and they are planted uh, saplings of fruit trees. So one can see the hedgerows now. This is tephrosia with the white flowers, and the greener ones below are the indigo fera. Effective soil and water conservation through these live barriers of nitrogen fixing plants. Here is Peter, the farmer. So uh, let's have a look at his farm. So on top we have a hedgerow of indigo fera, and uh, this is below with the white flowers is tephrosia. So either zoom kya tha na? Dhan kitna nikla? कितना लगाया था बीच एक टिन में फिफ्टी फोर क्वाइट गुड और इसमें क्या घास लगाया ये तमोल तमोल और क्या लगाया तमोल और ऑरेंज है so we are here with our salt committee members this is for the inspection so kumla hai tamol hai aur lemon lemon hello anango bangpi kai bhi aung hai so lot of ki andar sara wala ni mulching using rice stem This is uh, sorrel, sour leaf. What we call this? Sorrel, 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 sour leaf. You will harvest the seed. Ha. So the patta bhi na? Patta bhi khate hai. Or seed? Abhi seed ke liye abhi rakh raha hai. Seed hai na? Ha. Ek kilo mein hundred rupees hai abhi. Ye bhi. This is the field shelter. So just Peter and his wife, young farming couple. They have one young daughter. This is the farm of Jessai, and uh, that is Jessai's mother who is offering the water. There are some beans there, and this is a field shelter. This is the first hedgerow of Tephrosia, and uh, further on there is some pigeon pea, perennial pigeon pea, local variety. So the rice has been harvested, and they have spread the straw for mulching. Otherwise, the traditional practice is they pile it up and burn it. So this is a change in behavior introduced. Under this salt model, this is a seasonal component under June. This is the chili. There is pumpkin. There are the long-term component. There is areca nut in between these hedgerows. Sustainable way of growing areca nut in between the contour hedgerows. Another change in practice introduced under the salt approach. So we are continuing down this path, and there are six 
salt farms along this path. This is the next farm. This is of our salt committee executive member, office bearer, Mr. Chubing. And uh, this is again his his third salt farm. Lot of seasonal crops still there. There is uh, pumpkin, chili, brinjal <coughs> under uh, seasonal. Then short term horticulture, there is turmeric and yam. And then uh, long, medium term horticulture, there is some banana. And I'm sure there will be papaya, tapioca. And uh, long term, he has put some fruit trees. This is the next soil farm in the cluster of six soil farms. So the yellow flowers in the foreground, that is rice bean, indigenous to this area. This is another salt farm. He's already harvested the paddy and kept in the shelter for threshing. Pukholung. Farm of Pukholung. One with the hedgerows down is Mr. Rabuing. 6th of December 2022, we are in the Jhum area and also salt farm of Mr. Jackie and his wife Jacqueline Pame. This is being developed under the Naba Tribal Development Fund project. And it was all bamboo and uh, scrub, some trees. So that was cleared and uh, they fired the land and then cultivated as normal jhum practice, growing a lot of different, different seasonal crops. Mainly paddy, then millet, maize, chili, vegetables. And he's also established a salt farm in the sense he's put the hedgerows which are clearly visible here. The one seeding is tephrosia and the green one is indigofera and in between you can see what is left of the jhum. Paddy has been harvested but there is now chili left which is their cash crop and the, the visitors are from Meglife project of Meghalaya that is under the Meghalaya Basin Development Authority. The project is funded by JICA, that's the Japanese International Cooperation Agency. So they have come here to for an exposure visit to SALT. 21st October 2023. This is the project area of Longchai village, which is neighboring village to Aben. This is uh, under the Tribal Development Fund project of NABAD implemented this year or last year? Yes. Last year, that is 2022. And uh, we have incorporated salt into the TDF model. So these are the hedgerows. This was under Joom last year and they had also planted the saplings. So here we can see some orange saplings, mulberry, and uh, there in the distance up the slope, we see more hedgerows. Long Chai 2022 salt area. <laughs>